Well, I've just been looking at uh, the latest forecast using the uh, Ocean Home Premium Subscription Service. So I'll show, you, I'll show you guys how it works. So while I'm selecting the Save Eastern Seaboard of Australia, go right up to Cairns. Um, you just select the area you want to have a look at. You can move that around anywhere you want. Select that area you want to have a look at. And uh, on your side panel here, you can select what you want. So, uh, you know, if you want to do 10 days ahead, I normally do about three days. Just so, uh, because I'm going through uh, Starlink, I don't want to be gobbling up too much data. So I normally do about three days. Um, you can do your, your, your depth layers, you know, whatever layer you want to do. If you're only doing surface layer, um, I like to go right through and have a look at all sorts, uh, particularly if you're doing the tuna. Um, and then you just basically go through and select what you want to select. So as you can see, I've got sea surface temperature um, and also sea water temperature, which is multi layers, which means that I can have a look at what the sea surface temperature is down, say, 50 or 100 metres. And uh, trust me, that is a whole different world. To what's happening on the surface. Uh, my sea surface height anomalies, chlorophyll, thermocline, temperature shear, um, and all that sort of thing. You can, and also, I do my uh, phyto, phytoplankton as well, um, so I can get an idea of what's going on. Um, and I also, I don't worry about pressure, but I, um, I do my wind as well. So you uh, just go through all that. Um, once you've selected uh, what you want, uh, you download it. Um, and as I say, I'm, I'm going through uh, Starlink for my one. And uh, once you've downloaded it, uh, you, you've got uh, all of this information, and it's uh, it's accurate, and it's all up to date. So, uh, yeah, makes a hell of a difference to my fishing. Um, and same with the uh, weather forecasting. When I'm looking at the wind, um, I've found it to be very... Uh, like, I put my faith in it now. Uh, I've spent sort of four or five years up in the Coral Sea dancing around cyclones. So I think the last year I was up there, it was last year, uh, I went through six cyclones and I was actually out at sea during the cyclones. Uh, but I, managed to skirt, I, I managed to skirt around them because of, uh, I've got faith in the tracking, tracking ability of Type Zero. So uh, I've learned to trust it. So I've, I've, I've found it incredibly accurate. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, but I mean, if you want to have a look at your uh, your, temp, your your pressure and humidity and rains and all that sort of carry on, away you go. So that was through Starlink and it's already downloaded. Uh, so let's go and have a look at, let's be looking at Sri Lanka. So let's go and have a look at the East Seaboard here now. Um, and there it is. There it all is. Now I was actually looking at Sydney before and Sydney's got some uh, some pretty interesting looking water there at the moment. Uh, it's looking horrible on Tuesday, but it's actually come right. Um, so what I've got highlighted here at the moment is uh, temperature shear. Um, and I also like to highlight um, a chlorophyll, so I can see what's happening with the chlorophyll. So I've brought that in there now. Uh, you can see temperature shear is a hell of a shear on the outside edge. Um, and the boys are catching the elephant at the moment. Um, so you can see the chlorophyll right on the inside edge. And uh, you've got these highlighted pictures here. So, yeah, uh, just incredible. Uh, absolutely incredible what uh, you can do with the Ocean O. Um, and I also look at the weather. I've got it set up somewhere else at the moment. But, oh, here we go. So there's Sydney. So I've got my planning uh, one set up for the weather. And uh, let's have a look. I'll set that up for the day. So now, uh, with this weather, I can click down on this left hand corner, I can click, click play, and that will take me through what's going to be happening. So at the moment, you can see down here, it's tomorrow. So you can see what's going to be happening with the weather, um, and it just scrolls through and, and plays through. So you can see uh, down off Burmese, there's a bit of a front coming through. Yeah, so, um, and as I say, I've, uh, I've been using this during the cyclone season in the Coral Sea, and I have faith in it. Yeah, it's incredibly accurate. So you can see it's a bit of slop coming through there on Saturday. We're going to have a bit of south southeast. Um, but there's your wind scale down there. You're only looking at 15 to 18 knots. So nothing too serious anyway, guys. Yeah, so uh, so that's your uh, the weather feature. Um, and the beauty is I can also, let's go back to the Ocean O. Uh, so I'm on fishing sail Sydney. 
I can right click, so pick, pick an area, go right, oh, I want to go up here, I can right click on my mouse and show the metrogram, and there's your weather. So that's what's going to be happening uh, over the weekend. And I can uh, use my scroll, so I can spread that out. So you can actually go, and then you can just scroll through right over at 3 o'clock on, uh, on Friday. You're going to have 13 knots, it's going to come from the south, southwest. So you can just scroll through and work out what you want to do for your weekend. Yeah, so um, I find, uh, I, I put all my faith in it now. It's the only forecast I use. I don't listen to the radio. I don't use any other apps. I just stick with my uh, the Time Zero Ocean O forecasting. I find it incredibly accurate. And as I say, um, I've trusted it with my life, uh, with the cyclone season and that. So yeah, so uh, I absolutely love the Ocean O premium subscription service. Uh, it does everything I need. I can look at my sea service height anomalies if I want. So let's have a look at that. Let's take off the LC610 and chuck in our anomalies. You can see what's going on there. Um, and I can just adjust that. So click on that. Right. So you can see from your sea surface height anomalies there now what's going on. And of course, as you guys know, your sea surface height anomalies drive your currents. So you can see there's a high spot there. And you can see how that's driving that current. So as you guys know, the ocean is not flat. Uh, the nutrient poor areas are uh, higher, higher on the uh, in the water than the nutrient rich areas. Um, but that uh, those those areas drive your currents. You can see that here. Um, you can see there's a, a convergence zone between the high and the low, and uh, you can see that that current is rotating around that. We've got an anti-clockwise one rotating around this one, and you've got a current rotating around that one. And um, once you know what you're doing this, guys, you work out your convergence zone, and then you'll know um, where uh, different species are going to lurk. Your swordfish like to be in the nutrient-poor uh, areas, and then they travel into the nutrient-rich areas uh, to, to feed. But of course, uh, You've got to work out where your conversion zone is, and it's a big area, so yeah. Absolutely love the system. So let's go back to our C Sims 10 and get rid of our uh, C Sims height anomaly. All right, so as you can see there, and I've got it on auto at the moment, um, you can change it to manual and uh, essentially. Adjust it to see what you want to see. You've got to be careful though, guys. You don't want to um, uh, overemphasize things and uh, yeah, draw yourself a false picture and get yourself excited. So uh, that's why I generally use manual uh, auto. Uh, it essentially does everything for me. Yeah, so so that's the Ocean O system, guys. Thoroughly recommended. It's a premium subscription service, and uh, I use it all day every day. Thoroughly, thoroughly, uh, I couldn't fish without it, that's for sure. Yeah, so uh, Type Zero's uh, Premium O, uh, Ocean O Premium Subscription Service, absolutely fantastic.